Hello. So in uh, a video I've just done, which I posted, which I would like you to go back and look at, about how you calculate your revenue per head target. Um, and it's always best to do it based on the actual costs and the and target margin. That's a clue. But is that a sensible target? Is it achievable? And the way to double check that, make sure it's a sensible and achievable target, is with a very simple calculation. And here it is set, set out. So you take the number of days and hours, rate card, target utilization, and that gives you your revenue capacity, your revenue target. And hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, that revenue capacity will be um, at least as much as your revenue per head target. So a couple of little wrinkles, one of which is working out the days. I've worked out the days here to get the hours. You can just times it by 7.5, but we start off with the total work days, so 52 weeks in a year, five days a week, and obviously you change that for the individual if they work part-time, but it's 260. Less holidays, less bank holidays in the UK gets you to 227 working days in the year. If we take a rate card, for example, at £600 per day, uh, and then a target utilisation, and this is obviously has a big impact on your uh, revenue per head. I put 60%, um, and again, um, that's three days out of five. I don't think that's unrealistic. I don't think that's too stretching. You can go a little bit higher, and for certain uh, individuals, it should be higher. For certain people, it should be a little bit lower because they'll have wider responsibilities within the agency. But for this person, you know, at that at that rate card utilization, the revenue capacity, I'll just move my head out of the way a little bit, uh, is a little bit over 81,000, just under 82,000 in fact. So that would be your revenue, per head, could be your revenue per head target. I would round it to 80,000. I don't think it's, you know, I think it's a little bit of spurious accuracy to go to, you know, go to that level. Um, but a word of warning, a few caveats uh, in this is that this calculation needs to be done by person. Uh, to work it out because people will be on different rates they may be working different days um, although actually the day should affect the revenue per head target it just means that you know, they'll be bringing in less revenue but at the same rate the key one is sort of going back to the three deadly sins of underestimating over servicing and scope creep because that utilization figure is a working on client business and uh, working three days out of five and charging three days out of five. These three deadly sins will, will have you working three days out of five, possibly more, but only charging for two because we've, we haven't estimated enough or we have over-serviced the project, we've worked more hours than we can charge for, or there has been some scope creep. So we've, we've added extra in into the original scope of work, but we've not charged for it. So that's a big caveat and essentially that's that's fundamental agency problem there and then there's a pipeline I put pipeline in there because we obviously have to keep people work keep everyone working consistently and not have um, gaps in between projects and downtime so if there's downtime your utilization will drop down your revenue capacity will drop down so taking together uh, these two videos will give you an insight into how you can calculate revenue per head and how you can validate revenue per head at an individual basis. Hope you find them useful. Bye for now.